It's Tuesday night and we got five games for you in the cave. Relax, sit back and enjoy your daily KHL update. We go to Minsk Belarus first, where Dynamo meet Torpedo. Home team opens up the score in four and a half minutes in. Charles and Glad fits Quinton Halden in the slot from the left wing, and Halden makes it look easy. 1-0 Dynamo. A few minutes into the second period, they improve the lead to 2 0 as Ilya Shinkevich scores his first goal of the season. Torpedo get one back middle through the period. Mikhail Smola one times at home for his second. But Dynamo restored a two goal margin before the intermission. Alexander Kulakov is his second of the year as well, while Andrei Stepanov and Yvorsha and Gavich pick up the assist. Dynamo stays strong in the third frame. Two minutes in, Captain Vladimir Denisov scores his first goal of the year as he jumps out of the penalty box to make it 4 1. Late in the period, Quinton Howden scores his second of the night and tenth of the season of Justin Fontaine's assist. That's a wrap for this one. Torpedo can win and miss since October 2012. Dynamo take it 5 1 on all lines. We travel to Helsinki, Finland now, where Jokerid are looking for their 15th consecutive win as the Hell's top team of the East, Ogbars are in town. The Jokers have blanked their opponents in three previous games, but Ogbars are coming off a win over SKS St. Petersburg. We go to Hartwell Arena for the action. Seven minutes into the game, Jokerid go on a power play. Matt Gilroy drops to the high slot, gets the puck from Pat Regin, and one times it home for his sixth of the season. Four minutes later, it's an odd man rush for Jokiric. Marco Antila shoots from the left wing. Emil Garifov gives up a juicy rebound, and Ante Pilstrom bounces on it. Pilstrom scores his third of the year, and the Jokers lead 2 0 now. Late in the period, Jesse Janssen gets in the spotlight. He collides with Ante Octima, wants to get to his bench, bumps into Anton Lander, and brings him along for the ride. Lander and Janssen end up in Jokiric's bench. Both get minor penalties for the incident. Second period now, Alex Alvin steals the puck on the forecheck, feeds Brian O'Neill for a one-timer, bad save made by Emil Garipov. Late in the period, 4-on-4 four four hockey, Irzhi Sjakic dishes it over to Ansel Lander, Lander shoots from on top of the circles, hits the crossbar. Akbars get a goal back only midway through the third period, Anton Lander passes it in front to Irzhi Sjakic, and Sjakic puts an end to Ryan Zapolsky's shutout streak. Jokic is still lead 2-1 though. And they secure the win a few minutes later as giant Marco Ancelas scores his fifth of the year with a huge clapper. They've got it in the bag. Jokic walk on to their 15th consecutive win. There are five wins away from matching KHL records set recently by SKA St. Petersburg. 3-1 is the final. We head over to St. Petersburg now where Nefti Kimmich challenge SKA. And the Wolves get off to a great start. Midway through the opening period of play, Alexander Abson scores his seventh of the season on a power play. SKA get back even just a few minutes later. Yarnak Oskaran buries the rebound from the doorstep. Yvor Rikov and Victor Tikhonov with the assist. Early in the second period, Nafsikimi get back in the lead as Ildar Shiksadarov scores his third of the year. And it comes shorthanded. Vidal Kulikov steals the puck from Ilya Kovalchak and Shiksadarov doesn't let this great chance go to waste. Nafsikimi lead 2 1 up to 40, but then they collapse in the third. Five minutes in, Evgeny Kedov ties it up as he scores on a breakaway. Slava Voinov with a great stretch pass. Ten minutes later, Viktor Tikhonov gives Eskia their first lead of the night as it bears the rebound from the slot. Yatikimik almost get it right back. Bogdan Yakimov takes a shot, it doesn't get to the net, but Ilya Arkhalov puts it through his legs to his forehead and fans on the shot. So unlucky! The Wolves pull Ilya off for the extra attacker and Nikita Tikhonov scores his second of the game on an empty net. SKA go up 4-2 with less than 20 seconds to go in regulation. And 12 seconds later they add insult to an injury. Sergei Kalinin scores his eighth. Nikita Tikhonov was right in the thick of it too. Could have been a hat-trick. Neftekimik almost shot SKA on the road, but St. Petersburg still take it 5-2 on home ice.
Welcome to Moscow. It's a bit chilly here as Dynamo face Salavati Live. Ben Scrivens and Linus Omar go up against Ivan Kucherov and Red Hot Mikhail Varnikov, who has four goals and a shootout winner in his past three games. The Blue and White get an early power play on this one, but they almost get scored on. Maxim Mayor puts it on his backhand and he's robbed by Ivan Kucherov. What a save by the rookie net miner. Shortly after that, Dynamo can vote on another man advantage. Zakari Salman and that's his second while Dustin Boyd draws the only assist. A few minutes into the second period, rookie Gleb Kuzmin takes off. Look at him fly through the neutral zone, to the slot, and he shovels it between the wickets of Ivan Pacharov. What a way to score your first career KHL goal. Solo mission accomplished. It's a tie game. Midway through the period, Salavat converted another breakaway chance. Former Dynamo forward Dennis Kokorev roofs it for his fifth of the season. Salavat take a 2-1 lead. But just 15 seconds into the third period, Dynamo bring it back to square one. Sakari Salmanen returns the favor to Dustin Boyd as he feeds him in the slot for his sixth. It's a 2-2 tie now. Midway through the period, it's bad news for Dynamo. Ivan Bacharov goes behind the net to stop the puck and he's run into by his teammate Andre Kutaken. Bacharov has trouble getting up and he's helped off the ice. Alexander Yurimenko takes his place in the cage. Last minute of regulation, Salavat have their fourth line out there. Maxim Mayor finds his shot, it's partially blocked, but Evgeny Korkov stuffs it in moments later. It counts. Salavat scored the game winning goal with less than a minute on the clock. Heartbreaking finish for the blue and white. Salavat take it 3 2 on the road. Our last game takes place in Riga, Latvia. Local Dynamo are still looking for the first point on home ice as they welcome Severstal. Janis Kalinch and Alexei Artumkin are starting goals in this one. Midway for the first period, Severstal opened up the score and as they can vote on a power play. Kalinch gives up a rebound right in front of him and veteran Yuri Trubachov scores his second of the year. Early in the second period, Dynamo tie it up. Nick's industry speeds Danny Christo on open ice and Christo risks it home for his fifth. What a release this guy has. 1-1 is on the board now and Jurczyk is pretty happy about it. Late in the frame, Sarastal get their lead back. Their top line gets the job done. Valery Vasilev gains the zone, feeds Michiko Golitski across the ice, one catch pass to Pavel Chernov down low, and Chernov finishes it off for his sixth of the year. Great passing play by Sarastal and they lead 2-1 up to 40. Early in the third period, Dynamo bring it back to even again. Nikolai Zhirdov wins the battle for the puck behind the net, throws it in front, and Gunnar Skvorza finds the way to put it in. We're at it twos now. Nine seconds of regulation, Guntis Galvic cuffs up the puck, Alexander Shurvina has a golden opportunity to win it for Sarastal, but he hits the post, no goal. He goes to overtime, at the very least, Dynamo have got their first point on home ice this season. But they're looking for more than that tonight. Christianis Redlix gives the puck to his brother Mikolas Redlix. He shoots, he scores! Mikolas Redlix goes his first of the season and Dynamo win their first game on home ice. What a night in Latvian capital. Dynamo take it 3-2 in overtime. And that's it for the LKHL update. Make sure to come back tomorrow for five more games, including Paris Admiral and Metalurg vs. Red Army. My name is Andreas Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.